Hey guys, it's Tom. And uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I apologize. Um, we're coming out of winter. And uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, we're finally starting to get out in the garage um, and do something. So I've been um, messing around with uh, my Civic here about all day. We've done no more with the batteries uh, since we last left off. And uh, since you've seen the car, I've gotten the engine out of it, and I got some video of some some, some of that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of boring and broken up. And all we did was just drop the engine out uh, the bottom and drag her out. The engine's already gone. I sold it. There's our subframe with our transmission and and uh, you know our whole drive assembly there and. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, get some work done on that and uh, you know we're gonna kinda pull off the electric component stuff and get busy with the getting the car ready um, you know we still got a lot of work to do here before we really ever start to <clears throat> put in electrical components um, for our drivetrain so I started uh, a few days ago, actually it was last week, um, you see I got a stool here, and what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to have to take all this crap off. Um, you know, this is a real mess in here. We got our, we got our engine wiring harness here. Drag that up here so you can see it. So we have that. Um, we're we're trying to, or I've been trying to sort out the electrical system on the car. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a manual. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a uh, look at that real quick, maybe. Um, this manual came from a YouTube uh, Garage Gang member, um, Snow Crusher. Uh, Greg from Canada gave me this manual and you can see right here this is the body electric and uh, this particular part of the manual is almost 3,000 pages long that I'm in um, this is a manufacturer shop manual um, every nut and bolt in fact in the wiring harness it tells every ground point on the car um, it is very very complete so it's been very helpful um, you know and this is just the body uh, and there's oh my lord there's maybe 300 chapters uh, close to it just on that um, and then there's the ECM and PCM um, our electronic control module and our power control module um, powertrain control module I think PCM I think that's the right acronym I'm not sure those are under the dash on the inside I'm gonna have to get at those uh, in order to clean this wiring mess up that up that I have here so we can get this painted um, so I want it to look nice I want it to look professional so there's just no getting around it. I'm going to have to take all this crap off and paint it. But I got to thinking after I started to do that, um, I got to thinking that maybe I should uh, check some of my electrical system out here. So what I was getting ready to do, I got my battery over there. I had it on a charger all day. I'm getting ready to put the battery back in up. And I'm going to make sure all my... Uh, all my electrics work. Um, I know I had some issues with uh, my uh, radiator fan, my cooling fan, which is this fan here. I set the radiator up in here. Give you guys a look at this if you're not familiar with Hondas or some of these cars that are kind of built like this. It has a, a radiator fan and a uh, AC 
condenser fan I think it's the proper name for it and uh, so I think the AC fan works and the radiator fan doesn't and when I'm looking in the uh, fuse box out here this is the relay right here for the radiator fan and you can see that somebody has put a jumper in it yeah, you can see it going down in there and over over to the other side so obviously they've had issues with it I plan to use the radiator to cool my uh, for my coolant on my control uh, my um, my um, motor control unit so it has a heat sink um, that we'll be pumping um, coolant through and I'm going to use I think the radiator to pump it through to cool it I don't think it'll ever get hot enough for the fan so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need this fan here but I will need this for my AC and the condenser unit mounts in front of the radiator of course so this radiator is a good one it doesn't leak uh, so I think I'll go ahead and and just use it just clean it up and use it it should be in good shape we'll have to do something with our connectors um, you know we're gonna have to get them down a little bit smaller size I've been studying the electrical systems um, mainly the electronic control module and the uh, power um, module power train module I think they call it I'm not sure but uh, I think it's called a power train control module PCM I think but um, and the reason why is because some of these some of these things we're going to need and some of these things we're not going to need so uh, most of it we won't need but there are a few things that we may need um, so you know we just can't go and take a pair of wire cutters and just lop these things off um, you know likely we're gonna have to take apart the wiring harness and fish out some of the parts I need once I identify them and all that stuff but before I went and started taking the whole thing apart unplugging the wiring harness on the inside and taking it completely out I want to make sure that um, of a couple things you know I want to make sure all of our systems are working and I've gotten uh, I studied probably oh my goodness maybe four or five hours on on the uh, you know just the electrical systems on the car trying to get in my mind um, you know an understanding of how it all works and how it all is put together so that I can uh, uh, destroy it and make it the way I want it but um, I think the next thing to do is just put the battery in it and let's just see if everything works um, and that's what I'm going to write to do so let me do that real quick alright so we got that hooked up and um, I should be able to uh, turn the key on I don't see the dome light working but it may not be turned on see yeah it's working I don't know which one's door let's see key all right well our blower's working let's shut all that stuff off yeah, let's try the lights Turn signal's working. Back is working. Our lights are working in the back. I need to shut that window while I got this thing plugged up. Let's see, I don't see that our lights are working. I wonder why. Well, this one's working. So, it's probably just burnt out then. Can't 
tell. See, there's sort of the big headlight lamp. Let's see. Window works. Uh, let's see. Windshield wipers work. So I'm thinking most of our stuff is working. I wanted to check the fan, so let's see. AC. Let's see max AC. Um, there we go. That should make our fan work. Our AC fan. Our our AC condenser fan. How's that? If we plug it in. That's not it. Um, oh, it's right here in front of my face. Get you guys down here. I don't know if you can see it or not. And that fan is not working. And I'm thinking it should be on. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, I guess I could just hook up 12 volt to them and go from there but to see if it'll work see we have it should be on because I think that's max AC with this with it closed and that we should have that's a rear defrog and it's working um, Now, I'm not sure. I'm thinking it ought to be working, if I remember right. I don't think there's any. It may not work if one of the components is not plugged in. Um, so, that's a bit confusing. It's something I'm going to have to mess with, obviously. Um, and I definitely, and you can see somebody has cut on that wire right there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, somebody's cut on this wire. And this one here, I don't think will work. You never know, it might take off. Let's see if we can get it plugged in. Oh. That made this one work. Cool. They both need to be plugged in. All right, so our AC unit is working. We should be able to turn it off by pushing this button. No. No. Hmm. That's odd. That's odd that that one would run. It's running all the time. 
But then again, that may have something to do with that stupid jumper as well. Um, so I'll have to investigate that. You see what happened when I bought this car? I unplugged the fans. I unplugged both of them. And the reason why is because it, I remember now they would run all the time. Even if I shut the car off, it would run and run the battery down. I remember the first time it happened, I thought, oh, well, the engine just must have warmed up a little bit. It must, and, you know, the fan came on, and it would probably go off in a few minutes. But So I went right in the house, and I came out the next morning, and the battery was stone dead. So it's all coming back to me now. So even if I shut the car off, oh, it shut off there. quite sure what kind of a mess we got ourselves here but I think I may have something to do with the relay being jumped over there I don't know we're gonna have to investigate that so I'm just trying to get a feel for some of these systems and I know this video is not about freaking anything but uh, just um, just know on a modern car, if you can get a hold of a shop manual, I recommend it. Uh, and uh, because you know some of our uh, powertrain or electric drivetrain components are going to interact uh, with the uh, vehicle systems and. Uh, you know, it saves a lot of guessing um, and uh, and things like that. So, plus, if there's anything to take apart, uh, at least in this manual, it's very very detailed instructions on how to do it and assemble. So, anyway, that's kind of where I'm at right here, and uh, I just want to turn the camera on and give you guys an idea what was going on, and uh, I'll keep working on this and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I kind of want to sort this fan thing out. I at least want to make sure they work. We know one of them's working. So, um, I'd like to find out if the other one works. We might just hook up a 12 volt power supply to it and, uh, and let her and see if it'll work. And uh, worry about some of the wiring problems that we may have here afterwards. Um, so I'm going to have to look at that a little bit closer right here. Anyway, that'll be it for me for now. And uh, I'm going to keep on working on this thing and messing with it tonight. And as soon as I sort a few things out, we'll, uh, we'll, get, on the, uh, we'll get on the engine uh, compartment there and get her done. Get that cleaned out and painted. Alright guys, take it easy.